Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about structure within the structure or a nested structure in C programming. It is one of the most important concept in C programming. Now we can go for the definition. What is nested structure? A structure within a structure is called as nested structure. Another definition, a structure can be declared inside another structure as a data member is called as nested structure or a structure within the structure. Okay, so this is the definition. So, nested structure in C is nothing but structure within the structure. One structure can be declared inside other structure as a data member. Okay. One entire structure can be declared as a data member in another structure is called as structure within the structure or a nested structure. Next, another definition, a structure inside another structure is called as nested structure or a structure within the structure. Another definition, a structure that contains another structure as its data members is called as a nested structure or a structure within the structure. So, we can use any one definition for defining nested structure or a structure within the structure. There is no need to write three definitions. Okay. Now, this is the syntax. Okay. So, this is the first structure and this is the second structure. Among the two structures, which structure is main? This structure is main because this structure can be declared as a data member in this structure. So that this is the main structure. Okay. So first of all, what are the two structures are there here? Structure 1 and structure 2 are two structures. Now, consider structure 1. Strut, structure 1. So these are the members of the structure 1. Okay. Now go for the structure 2. Strut, structure 2. Here, these are the members of structure 2. Now, another member is, this structure can be declared as a data member in this structure. Okay, that means structure 1 can be declared as data member in structure 2. How it can be declared? So, struct structure 1 variable. Okay, so struct structure 1 what is the variable we have created for this structure this one so we can say that this entire structure can be declared as one data member in structure 2 then it can be called as a structure can be declared inside in the another structure as a data member he is called as structure within the structure okay now consider this example here i am i am creating two structures first one is college structure second one is student structure okay so the college structure contains two data members college id that is nothing but cid college name that is nothing but c name so, these are the two data members in the structure called college. Okay. Now, consider another structure that is a student structure. It contains three data members. One is a roll number and second one is a name and third one is percentage. Okay. These are the three data members of structure called student. In addition to these three data members, one more data member so that is belongs to this structure okay so this structure 
can be declared as data member in the structure student. How it can be created? So, in this way, struct structure one. Here, struct structure one is nothing but college. And what is the variable we are created for this structure? CLG. Okay, struct college CLG. Struct structure one is college. Variable name is CLG. Okay, this entire structure can be declared as a data member in another structure. So then this can be called as structure within the structure. Now we can go for the example program. Now this is the example program on structure within the structure. As we discussed previously, this is the college structure. So it contains two data members. One is college ID and the second one is college name. And this is the student structure. So this contains the data members, roll number, student name, that is S name, percentage. So these are the three data members of the student structure. In addition to these three data members of the student structure, so this entire structure can be declared as data member in student structure. How it can be right? So struct college, this is the variable that we have created for the structure called college. So struct structure name is college and the variable that we have created for this structure is COLG. Okay, now this entire structure can be declared as a data member in the structure student. Next, this is the variable that we have created for the structure a student. Okay, now we can go for the main function void main. Now we are initializing this structure student. So struct, structure name is a student and the structure variable we are created for the student is std is equal to roll number. So that is 654. Student name that is Sai here. This can be written in double quotes. Next one percentage 97.5. Next college. So Next one, so the, uh, by using this structure, we are initializing these structured members also. So college ID is 76, college name is LBRC. So LBRC is the college name that is a string that we are putting double quotes. Here, uh, student name, yes name is a string. So sai that we are putting double quotes. Okay, next one. So CLR, CR. Now we are printing these values. First one is student roll number. So printf student roll number is here. What is the data type here? Int. So, uh, so that we have to write percentage D. So to access this uh, structure members called student, we have to use the dot operator. So dot operator is used for accessing the structured members. So by using the uh, structure variable dot member main, we are accessing the structure members. Okay. So student role to access the student role number, we have to use structure variable dot member name. So std dot role number. Okay. Next one. To access the student name, we have to use structure variable dot member name, std dot yes name. Okay, next one. To access the uh, structure member percentage is, 
so structure variable dot member name std dot percentage okay next one we have to access this college id to access this college id we have to use this structure variable dot this structure variable dot member name so what is the variable we are created for this structure std what is the variable that we are created for this structure clg so std dot clg dot cid so this one std dot clg dot cid by using this we are accessing the college id next one how to access the college name so std dot clg dot c name std dot clg dot c name this is the structure variable we are created for the student this is the structure variable we are created for the college after that we have to write the uh, these two data members std dot clg dot cid by using this we are accessing the college id std dot clg dot c name we are accessing the college name while we are accessing these three members simply we are called std dot roll number we are accessing the student roll number std dot s name we are accessing the student name std dot percentage we are accessing the student percentage okay so by using this structure we are accessing this uh, this data members of this structure we are using uh, this structure variable dot this structure variable dot member name std dot clg dot cid we are accessing the college id std dot clg dot c name we are accessing the college name okay so now what is the student roll number here that is 654 we are getting the output as 654 next one student name is sai we are getting sai student percentage is 97.5 97.5 next one college id is 76 college name is lbrc so this is the output we are getting so this is very very important concept if anybody have doubts you can ask me in uh, comment box if you have any doubts please ask me comment box and also my whatsapp number is there in my channel name please ask me any doubt so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divella srinivasarao Thank you.